Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking over the Roman numerals topic. So the reason why uh, I wrote part 1 uh, and part 2, part 3, part 4, part 5 like this is the, the reason is because we're using Roman numerals for this video. Not, not uh, the regular numbers just like these. So let's jump into our first rule. So let's uh, first meet the symbols. So I is 1, V equals 5, and X equals 10. So to do the numbers in between, so for example, 2 is going to be I, I, because two ones equal two. So I, I equals two. How about three? Pretty obvious. It's I, I, I. The, but how about four? So if, a, some, if someone that is watching is new to this, they'll probably think, It's four eyes, but but pe but Roman people they thought uh, uh, to understand and uh, write and remember numbers better that they decided to do it as I V because uh, this time the number is the I is before the V so that so that means you're subtracting so five minus one is four so iv equals four and it already says it here v equals five so pretty obvious now v i equals six and v i and v i i seven v i i i v i i i is eight and but nine is gonna be i x because of the rule that you cannot have three numbers more than three numbers in a row, like I, I, I. We can't put any more of the same number in the number. So, so next up we have ten, which is just this without without the I. That means ten, and and uh, but zero doesn't even have a symbol. Zero is not anything so the romans thought why come up with a symbol for it it's, it just means nothing so that so that means that so, the, so that means if we don't know what in roman numerals what equals zero because the romans didn't come up with a new symbol for that thank you for watching this video and we'll see you next time Bye. 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 Bye.